Ichi Go! And welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Griever with Bleach, episode 19 review. Let's get underway because this is a damn good episode. Because this is where we get the goods. This is where we're getting the really good stuff. Like, yeah, we get that whole thing. Uh, uh, where's the screenshots here? We get that whole thing with Chad and Orihime and Yoruichi. And they're doing their thing. And Chad thinks he can power up his arm by... Oh, oh, I'm going to turn Super Saiyan like a 13-year-old who watched too much Dragon Ball Z in the woods. Oh, and that, no, that, sorry, Chad, that did not work. And Orihime is like, yeah, Sailor Moon, yeah, Sailor Moon, yeah, Sailor Moon. And it's just, and Yoda, which is like, uh, this, this is, oh, uh, oh, uh, I got to walk away. I got to walk away. That is what Yodoichi is doing. So we get that. There's also another part at the very beginning of the episode where Byakuya Kuchiki comes down and says, yeah, Rukia's going to be executed. And she's like, wait, what? Now, Rukia seems to have resigned herself to this fate. But Renji's like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, wait what? Hold on, Captain. You're telling me Rukia's going to be executed. For that? Eh, it seems a little harsh, but that's what we get from the get-go. So now Rukia is going to be executed. Uh, we thought there were a lot of, I guess, Renji believed, as I said before, is that she is going to have to pay for her crimes, but not execution. That was never really on the table. That'd be kind of like executing someone for drunk driving or executing someone for grand theft. I mean, we're talking some serious time, but we're not talking execution, right? So... Yeah, it seems a little extreme here. Now, the rest of the episode goes on to the Ichigo transformation. Ichigo is the final encroach the encroachments that continue to happen in the bottom of the shattered shaft. The final encroachment happens, and Ichigo's, uh, of course, he becomes a whole, and then the spirit body, as Urahara says, does not break apart and reform. The mask is starting first. Everything's all out of order. Uh, one of the most interesting parts is that this is our first introduction to Ichigo's inner world, the inner world of Ichigo's spirit, and we get the skyscrapers, we get the blue world uh, with the with the giant blue skyscrapers, we get Zangetsu, uh, from what we know, it's Zangetsu here, looking like an absolute badass with the shades and the black cloak and everything, looking looking like a stud. That he is, and he goes on to say, well, they do their explanation, stuff we all know. It's it's not really, honestly, this episode for a first-time viewer would be hugely lore-centric. But for us as veterans of Bleach, it's, it's pretty basic. We know all this. There's nothing new. There's nothing to rethink and go... Huh, you know that thing that they said? And I try not to take the English dub too literally sometimes because sometimes a couple of, just that little bit of that word change lost in translation can mean disaster for retcons and inconsistencies later on. So I try not to read too much into that stuff anyways if I can help it, uh, unless it's really blatant and very, very story-centric. Uh, suffice it to say, we do meet Zangetsu here and everything. And then, of course, the place begins to collapse and all that stuff. Once again, the English VAs, John Young Bosch doing that scream and stuff. Like, I could not, I wish I could be an English VA, someone like, uh, like John Young Bosch or, uh, I hate me for saying it, but, uh, you know, good old Vic, you know, I, I like Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and it's, you know, like, I, I would like to be able to do the screams and do the shouts and do the battle cries like they do, because those are some Crispin Freeman, another one. Uh, you got to give credit to the English dubs when they're done right, because this is this is really good stuff. Uh, after that, of course, he he finds himself. Okay, you have silvery powers of your own. You're gonna pull out the red ribbon. Yada yada yada. This is where once again, Bakudo ninety nine, second incantation. Bakudo ninety nine, final incantation. I don't care. How strong Ichigo's spiritual pressure is supposed to be. He's getting bitch slapped by Urahara 
after getting this power back. And even when he goes full on hollow in the visored fight very much later on to control his hollow powers, he's not able to break out of the said barrier and they're able to fight him toe for toe. Like Tessai using three incantations of Bakado. 99 should be able to restrain Ichigo. Like, I don't care how much spiritual pressure Ichigo is supposed to have. This is ridiculous that he breaks out of this. This is absolutely ridiculous that he breaks out of this. Now, I haven't reread the Bleach manga, so maybe that's not the spell, but I'm pretty sure it's the spell. So, yeah, I, I'm going back on last episode, and I'm going to say the same thing. That's, that's a little bit of a stretch for... Yours truly, but either way, we after this, he breaks out. He's had his talk with Zongetsu and everything. He can't hear his name yet, but he breaks out. And then we see him all red-eyed in the mist. And he's got the hollow mask, but he's got the Shiok Shoei. So is he a hollow? Is he a soul reaper? We don't know. Then he breaks the mask, and then he becomes Nuxtaku, ladies and gentlemen. Wahaha, meme lord, Lord Nuxanor is in the house. No, it's just Ichigo. <laughs> it's just Ichigo doing his thing. Uh, and he's looking pretty pretty all right. He looks like he's strong again and such. Urahara's giving him the gears. And now Lesson 3 can begin. And Lesson 3, was again, like, th like this was a really good episode. And we're going to get another gr even better episode in Episode 20. Like, I, I, I love it. From This is why I consider the Shinigami arc kind of over the moment Byakuya and Renji show up. Because this is the start of the really good shit. This is the start of the good episodes. Lore-centric, badassery, a lot of information. Like, just, just everybody training. We have our cast. We're ready to go. Feels like everything's come together. So, can't wait for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. As always, it's very much appreciated. This is Griever, your host as always. Signing out. See you back here next time.